Are you looking for a property in the stunning Abruzzese countryside? Just wait, just wait while you see this bargain property. So today we are in the beautiful town of Sant'Usaunio del Sangro. The town is uh, located 20 minutes to the mountains and National Park. You can probably see the mountains there. About 10 minutes from the beautiful town of, of Lanciano. We're about 20 minutes, 25 minutes to the coast. Brilliant location. And today is a hot, hot day. Finally, summer is here. What a strange bit of weather we've just had recently. But there you go. I'm an Englishman, we need to talk about the weather. Great little centre. Everybody looking at me, taking this video. <laughs> this building is beautiful that they're working on here. Santo Zaunio is a, is a small town, but it has everything you need. Great uh, restaurant here as well, just outside the, outside the town. Look at the restorations that they're doing here on this building. Beautiful, stunning. That's the word for that. It really is. Ah, oh, that's it, somebody's turned the water off. There's always some noise, isn't there, when, when I'm doing these films. I love these little places where you can just sit and let the day drift away. It's the town hall there. So this is just the, the top part of the town. There's a bar. Looks like they also do uh, food as well. Bar, pizzeria. And then this is the, the main road of the, of the town. Here in Italy, once a week, shops close for a, a day of rest. And in Santo Zaunio, that is a Monday, which is today. So some of the shops are, are closed, but a uh, great little place. It has everything here. It has the pharmacist, it has mini markets, a couple of bars, restaurant just on the outside, post office. But then, as I said, you're only 10, 15 minutes away, or 15 minutes, I would say, from, uh, from Lanciano, which has everything. So a couple of local shops here. Just a really nice typical Italian or Abruzzese town. Extremely clean as they always are and just a great atmosphere. You can tell it's summer now. All the, some of the folks sat out having a bit of a chat. That's what life's all about here. What a great place this is. So the property we're going to see today is, it says on, on Google Maps, eight minutes from, uh, from here. So this will be your, your, local, your local town. That's a hairdresser's and beauty centre that's closed today. And it's a, a detached property we're going to see today, which I've not, uh, I've not really covered any detached properties on the channel. But uh, that's going to change. We're going to see a few more, a few more, and I will get them on the channel. I'm just going to walk a little bit further down here, just so you can see. There's the post office there, just to give you a, a full run of the uh, of the streets. And if I remember rightly, there's a, a little bit of a park at the bottom, at the bottom of here. Always the loudest truck in the world passing when I'm doing a video. The loudest truck in the world. <laughs> Mini market here, as I mentioned. And then again, we have a car park and a little, a little park at the end. So that's Santo Zanio del Sangro. What a great place. 
and just wait while you see this fantastic, stunning detached property because this is going to be a superb one for somebody. So less than 10 minutes outside of the, uh, of the town that we've just seen in the uh, beautiful countryside between Santuzani, or where I've just shown you, and, uh, and Kazuli. This property really is an absolute bargain property. Obviously at this price, the fact that it is um, uh, detached, uh, it does need some work, but it's structurally, structurally sound. Uh, it just needs updating. Obviously the owners have not been around for a while, so the gardens need cleaning and that kind of thing. But this is the property. It's typical of the, should we say probably 1970s, 1970s, early 80s. But the potential on this place is just fantastic. And what I'd be tempted to do, because this kind of style property is, is, is typical in the countryside in this area. It just needs some of the straight edges curving out a little bit. <laughs> and what do I mean by that? The first thing I would do is around these these uh, arches and the one up there, whereas now they've got sort of the 1970s brown tile. I'd be tempted to add some stone in there to make it so it's it looks like the stone arches. I could really imagine that because here to the side you can see these parts where these where these windows are. I mean, I would take these windows out. And again, have sort of nice stone arches in there. I think it would really alter the look of the place. I think it would really give it some, then obviously paint the property. I don't think I'd, I'd reveal stone on the property. And I could imagine this one painted back. I could just see this corner with some nice archways, in my opinion. I don't know if you can see the mountains there in the, the background, the Myela Mountains. This is located so well. Obviously you need a car in places like this, but, it's quite flat countryside or sort of low gentle hills so you can even get an electric bike and potter around with no problem at all <laughs> so i'll give you a, before we go inside i'll just show you a few things around the property so as i was saying before these are the tiles that i would uh, i'm not sure about the shades of brown <laughs> but the great thing with this place is you could actually move in and start using it and then just do the works over time i'll show you the garden behind from upstairs but I would definitely be my idea would be would be stone anyway I don't know what you think let me know let me know in the comments but I could just imagine this being a stone a stone archway and then doing the same upstairs as well I think it would look fantastic and on these uh, on these edges here so this is the the entrance to the property it has got the old-fashioned gold gold windows Great to have a little bit of undercover area as well, even for winter time, keeping wood in and things like that. Entrance, all original tiles. Nice marble stairs, actually goes up three floors. Okay, let's take a look. Now this window is broken in the kitchen, so I can't open, I can't get this open. It gives you an idea of the kind of size. Oh, forgive me if, uh, if it's a, a little bit dark in here. But the kitchen is a great size and there is stone. These are, these walls are all stone. So if you did want to reveal any stone, you can do that. Fireplace in the corner. Again, you can change that if you want to. You can change the, the look of it. This is a great size kitchen. And what I would do in here, because there's another room here that at the moment would be the lounge. So if you were doing no work at all, you would have this as a kitchen diner and then that as a lounge. However, beyond this wall, and I will show you afterwards, is another huge room that takes up the full length of, of, of this. So I would be tempted to have this as a kitchen, as it is now, or a kitchen diner, but I would probably just have it as a kitchen. Put a door in here and then go into a huge living and dining area, which I'll show you shortly. This then would make this room something that you can maybe have as a, a spare bedroom if you wanted it, if you wanted a bedroom on the ground floor. 
You could maybe put a bathroom in it if you wanted it as well, to have it en suite. If you've got elderly relations or maybe you want to sleep on the, on the lower floors. But as I said, this room for now, you would use it as a lounge. But it would be worth, you'll see when I show you the size of the other room. These doors here, because there's no structure underneath here, if you wanted, these could all be sort of uh, uh, patio style doors, if you wanted. And there's obviously a window here as well, so there's lots of light uh, in, this, in this place. See if I can open this, excuse the noise. Okay, that mean, that's, gives you an idea the kind of light coming into this room. Nice views through there as well once you start trimming away some of the trees. So as I said, for now, there's two rooms here, but beyond this wall and the kitchen wall is a huge room that could be incorporated into the house. Okay, so let's take a look up the stairs. These stairs are typical of uh, Italian houses, all marble. Very bright stairs as well. You could probably do something nice with these windows. Maybe add some of those picture windows. Stained, stained glass windows I think would look great uh, in this. So you do have another floor above, but I will show you that shortly. And I'll also show you this terrace in a second as well. So, quite a simple layout up here. Two beds on this floor. Again, all the original, original tiles. In good condition. With basic works, you could easily get in here. I'll show you what I would do in these places. In a second. Hopefully you're getting an idea of the size of, of these rooms. Now beyond this wall is a terrace that you can actually, that you can get to down this corridor. But if you wanted to, down the corridor to the left, if you wanted to, you could potentially change where the bed is, put the bed maybe on, on this wall and, and open up to go out to the terrace there. Again, these are, all these, these are all things that you don't have to do. They're just ideas of things you could do in future. Look at the size of this bedroom. You could easily get en suites in both of these if you wanted to. There is one bathroom on this floor, but you could easily get en suites in these. Look at that wallpaper. If that doesn't send you uh, a little bit crazy, I don't know what will. Look at that. <laughs> Massive rooms. And again, lots of light and beautiful views out on this terrace which I'm going to show you now so you can get out onto that from this from this bedroom but it also has its own own access let's have a quick look at that the bathroom is down there which I'll show you in a second out of this bedroom let's have a look at this shaded terrace and believe me on these hot days and it is a hot one today you appreciate these shaded terraces. Look at that. A bird of prey flying over as well. That perfect timing. <laughs> Almost like I planned that. Just look how stunning. There you go, I've said it. Is that the first time I've said it on this video? This is just beautiful. And to be fair, with the terrible weather we've had recently, People have not had chance to do work in their fields, so we're probably seeing it at its worst. And it still looks incredible. They're just I can hear the tractors in the background. I don't know if you can hear that, but they're starting to uh, to plow their fields. But what a beautiful view of the of the rolling countryside. This is superb. And the local town, you can't really see it from here, but it's sort of in, in this direction where I videoed earlier. And that's less than 10 minutes away. You can even cycle there. And we're 20 minutes from beautiful Lanciano. Lanciano is an excellent town. 
so you've got simple access to there there are there is some public transport that goes around and it will come in the countryside but obviously when you live in this sort of place you do really want a car to make the best out of it all i say 20 minutes to lanciano and then you've got 30 minutes to the coast this is just this is superb imagine all of this garden area all nicely done and then the garden at the side marvelous I could just imagine sitting out here in a morning and taking in these these beautiful views okay so coming back inside the property so you've got the two bedrooms to the left and right which you've already seen down the end of the corridor is the main bathroom as I said these bedrooms are big enough to have on suites and if needs be and this is quite a good size good size bathroom to be fair Yes, it needs cleaning up a little bit, but uh, the owners, um, they used to, because they lived in Canada. They're originally Italian. In fact, the, the original owner was passed away, I believe now. He built this house with his father. Um, and when they came back, they always used it as, as, as a holiday home, as it is. So it's just obviously they're not being back for a while, and, uh, and things do get a little bit abandoned normal isn't it anyway there you go and then look at this another large terrace really large terrace it's a good probably four meters by three and a bit and look at the views how beautiful is that how stunning is that so you've seen some of the highest peaks of the Maella. You can actually see the ski resort from here. Probably it's in the middle of the, in the middle of the screen. Not sure if you can see any of the mass. Look how beautiful this is. I say in terms of location, it's just, it's just superb. Close to lots of things. Close to shops. Close to, you know, you've got an eight-minute drive, ten-minute drive, and you can be in Casoli, which is a great market town and Santu Zaunio, the one that I've already shown you. This is the garden area. It's a good sized garden, it goes literally to these, these trees. Then at the end is the small road, so there's nobody comes right up to your land. These obviously need trimming a little bit. And then you've got this garden at the side. You've just got views everywhere. The peace and quiet here is just is really stunning I can hear some of you saying well do you mind staying quiet then so we can hear I will try and stay quiet I'll give you five seconds of silence are you ready imagine sat here okay that was your five seconds <laughs> let's carry on the truck if I got the last part of that uh, little section I filmed because my camera actually overheated feeling a little bit like me so as I was saying from this terrace you could actually knock a door through there into the bedroom if needed but again you don't have to do that okay so let's show you now the third floor bit of a surprise up here because uh, it's quite large again all beautiful stairs So the door to get in is a little bit low. I'm wondering if we could potentially change it and put the door here, get full height. Because you could definitely use this space. It's huge. <laughs> could be another bedroom, maybe a master suite. Really? Huge, huge room. Maybe if you've got a few children, you could put them all up here. <laughs> you could also have an ensuite somewhere up here. Through there, I think there used to be a door. Because you can actually see, or I can see some lines there. But that would go out to a terrace as well. That would be, uh, that terrace would be on top of the bathroom that I've already shown you downstairs. 
What could you do up here? Fantastic. Let me know in the comments. What would you have up here? A fancy, a fancy suite for you? Or a bit of a hideaway for the kids? Kids or grandkids? Keep them all up here. Brilliant. Okay, so I'm now gonna go back downstairs to show you the room that I mentioned behind the, the kitchen and also inside the garage. Okay, so this is the room I was telling you about. It's a huge room at the back of the house. But I'm gonna tell you about this, this crack that you'll see on this wall here. I don't want you to be worried about this. This is something, uh, even when we bought our house, that uh, there was a, a big crack on the wall like that and we've had a builder out uh, to explain what needs to happen. So this is the, the house that we've seen. And this is obviously a, uh, an extension. We have the terraces above that we've already been on. And where I said to come through is round about here. It could be that you have to put a couple of steps down to it. But could you imagine? Could you imagine what this would be like as a, as a living room, a dining room? It would just be amazing. Then I'd be tempted Again, I checked with my geometer, I'm sure you'd be able to, to have some sort of patio door there and the same there to go to the garden at the back because that would just work absolutely brilliantly well. So this crack that you can see here, this needs what they call micro-piling. So I had exactly the same done uh, at my property where they basically pin underneath the property just in this, in this corner. Micropiling here is a, <laughs> it's, it's a, almost I'm gonna say a normal thing because lots of places need it. Um, it would probably cost somewhere around about between six to 8,000 euros. And that way then it would stop this basically from, from possibly, it looks like it's maybe just slightly leaning or slightly dropping. And I know some people may be terrified when you talk about things like that, but it really is, it's a, it's just a, a, a normal thing here. And it's, you just do the work, you just do the micropiling. Simple as that. And as I said, for the price that this is on at, it's way under, under value. So adding an extra little bit to cover that is, uh, is nothing at all. So as I said, I would have patio doors here, patio doors there, and that would then lead out. If I can get round here, would lead out onto the garden where you could basically have a terrace if you wanted or straight onto the grass area how superb would that be what a great place this is what an absolute great place this is okay let's have a look at the garage and then we'll do our final thoughts Okay, so the last thing to look is the garage. Well, you see the size of this thing. You could probably get about eight cars in here. It's enormous. Great for stories though. It's also registered on the document, so who knows? You could all, always ask the council. Maybe they'd even let you uh, build something in here. That'd be cool. But for now, I'll take it just as a garage. And there are rooms underneath where I am here as well. As you can see at the side, it drops down, <coughs> but we don't have the keys, keys for that. This is a huge garage, it's at least 10 meters by probably five. Enormous. So that's it, folks. Let's do my, uh, my final thoughts just as attractive as us by. Oh, we're in the countryside, what do you expect? <laughs> Let's go to the final thoughts. So my final thoughts on this one. It is though, ladies and gentlemen, it is. It is that word, it is stunning, it really is. Somebody is gonna get an absolute bargain property. Look at all this that you get for 75,000 euros. It's 
just, <laughs> this is a real find. Absolutely superb. Location, excellent. Beautiful, beautiful countryside. Yet there's people around for you to feel part of a community. You're really close to Santo Zaunio. You're really close to Casoli, Lanciano, and within half an hour to the sea. National parks, 20 minutes, 25 minutes. It's just, it's just a brilliant place. And as I keep saying, at this price, the amount that you're getting is just mind blowing. This could make a beautiful home for somebody, will be a beautiful home for somebody. So if this is the kind of property that's for you, let me know. The contact details you'll see in the description box. It takes you to an online form that you can fill out. If you're interested in remote buying, that's what we do. Probably 80% of the sales we do at the moment are remote buying. We're geared up and have all the services ready to help you all the way through. We don't leave you at all with anybody else. Myself and my wife take care of, uh, take care of everything. So you're in good hands. You're in excellent hands, not just good hands. <laughs> so if that's something that you're considering, let us know. Thank you so much again for all your support on YouTube. And remember to join us every Thursday on our live streaming sessions where we talk about the legalities of buying a property here in Italy and, uh, and lots of other subjects. But what I'm definitely going to say, ladies and gentlemen, I know I say this on, on all, of, all of my uh, videos because I love all the properties that we video, but don't miss this one. If you're looking for something in the countryside and this is the kind of budget that you have, then do not miss this one because in this kind of location you don't get properties at this price and with all this space and everything else and condition it's just superb the location is fantastic you don't have to worry about being isolated but yet you're in the beautiful Abruzzese countryside just don't miss this one we'll see you on the next video